So this next um, slide, oh, sorry, that word suppress is a little off, gives us a little bit more of the data on what is happening, physiologically speaking, uh, when we're having an emotion episode, and what are our strategies for managing those emotions. So here we have watch, suppress, and reappraise. What you see below is a, a slide from a study by a f uh, professor by the name of James Gross. He's at Stanford University. He studies a lot of emotion and physiology. And in one of his experiments, he set up people and gave them three different sets of instructions. To one group, he said, simply watch what's happening in this film I'm going to show you. In the second group, he said, whatever you see, try to pretend you are not feeling it and definitely don't show it. And the third group, he said, when you see this film, recognize and pay attention to your emotions, but try not to react. So this was watch, suppress, and reappraise. The film he showed them was a pretty horrific um, kind of surgery, open surgery type film. Disgust is a very easy emotion to measure physiologically, so it's one that experimenters like to use. It's not just that all social psychologists are evil. Um, and what we see here is something interesting. So the suppress is this dotted line, and what we're seeing of the units of change is heart rate, heart rate and um, skin conductance. So how elevated is our physiological arousal with a very blunt measure? And when we are, even when these people are told to suppress, they are having a higher arousal than the people told simply to watch or to reappraise. And as the film and its difficulty is being displayed, these people who are suppressing and not showing anything and supposedly not feeling anything are actually having a physiological higher arousal they're getting more drained and more stressed. So what's interesting about this, especially in terms of why pay attention to our emotions, aren't those the things we just keep under the bed? Um, I, I had someone in, in the UK, my friend's uh, grandmother, you teach people about emotions? That can't help anything. Um, which I, uh, very stiff upper lip. It was nice to see those cultural differences. Um, and so I think this idea of paying attention to our emotions and being aware of them, whether that's watching them or whether that's reappraising, can actually be a more effective strategy than the suppression. So for folks in um, working in medicine or working even in education, where on an everyday basis, you're getting triggered to a lot of emotions that it wouldn't be good to share, right? You don't want to show every time you're annoyed with a student who's asking a question or a patient who's overly anxious. You don't want to necessarily express everything you're feeling, but to have an awareness of it, that's the ideal. Um, and it's an ideal not only because you're allowing yourself to pick up on those emotional cues, but because it actually in this way is less effortful on your system than trying to avoid and suppress what you're feeling.